Pioneer's next line of stereos are some of the most coveted on the market and they're dishing out a group of new models including the AVHW 4400 Nex all with the new capability of Wi-Fi certified Miracast for screen mirroring Android devices wirelessly and wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Hence the W, Wi-Fi, get it? This is some real progress seeing as CarPlay and Android Auto have been around since 2014. At least it's not as bad as waiting for HD screens, am I right? No, the stereo doesn't have one. When will Pioneer finally take that leap? I don't know, when's the next Olympics? The AVHW 4400 Next is still on that seven inch clear resistive touchscreen game with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. The display is motorized and fully detachable. Opening it up reveals a disc slot, plus it offers several angle options in case you're too tall for your Scion XB and need a better view, aka the ugliest car since the Pontiac Aztec. What did the design pitch at Toyota sound like for that car? Okay, okay, ready for this? You'll like refrigerators, right? Okay, okay, well now imagine if you kicked one on its side and put some wheels on it. Is it an SUV or is it a sedan? No one will ever know. Using wireless CarPlay or Android Auto is a lot easier than you might think. The first step is connecting your iPhone or Android to the stereo's Bluetooth. Once connected, press and hold down the voice recognition button until a device list comes up. Then simply select your phone, which should be listed. If it isn't listed, repeat step one and rinse. Your phone will then ask if you want to use CarPlay with the stereo. Allow it and you're in. You'll still be able to use your phone normally and can keep it locked or unlocked. While you're still in wireless mode, you can still also connect to one of the receiver's USB ports to get a charge for your phone. It won't interrupt the wireless CarPlay or Android Auto connection. And of course, they both still work with just a hardwired USB connection. And you'll also get a charge to your phone at the same time from the radio. It is important to note that once you're committed to wireless CarPlay or Android Auto, in order to switch back to normal Bluetooth functions, you have to clear the radio's Bluetooth memory and forget the device on your phone. Not that CarPlay and Android Auto don't both allow for hands-free calling and music streaming, some people just might like to use the normal Bluetooth functions at some point. It's pretty clear that Pioneer really encourages you to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto instead. At the time of this video in the summer of 2018, the only phones capable of wireless Android Auto are Google's phones, the Pixel and the Nexus. Hopefully by the end of the year, other manufacturers will catch up and those phones will have to be Android 9.0 or higher. Other than what we've already gone over, Pioneer's made some other changes to the radio that I really like. Besides a new look to the front control panel buttons, they took about half of the AV inputs and outputs off the back of the chassis of the radio, and they bundled them onto a pigtail harness, labeling each. These next receivers are so packed with features and expandability options that they usually have so many jacks on the back that it's virtually impossible to fit them back inside the dash. 
So this is actually a pretty cool and welcome change. The AVHW 4400 Next has the auto EQ feature with the input behind the display. Optional CD MC20 microphone required. This will make all of your audio adjustments for you and is a perfect starting point for tuning. For 2018, we get dual camera inputs. We have a dedicated back camera input, plus to add the second camera, the video input can be set to camera in the system settings for a front facing camera. This does kill one of the two audio video inputs. On the included wiring harness, Pioneer added a car speed signal input and reverse gear signal input for added accuracy for CarPlay and Android Auto. The HDMI port now has a small clamp to hold your cable in place to prevent accidental disconnections. With this radio, there are three ways to mirror your phone onto the screen. Wireless via Miracast for Android phones with Miracast support, using the HDMI port for iPhone and compatible Android phones, or via the RCA AV inputs. Wireless Miracast is also a game changer by letting you mirror and control your Android device wirelessly to the screen. Connecting is easy. While already connected via Bluetooth, Go into the phone settings and select Smart View for Samsung and Miracast for non-Samsung phones. Then go into the receiver's AV sources, then select Mirroring. Anything that comes up on your phone will be displayed on the receiver, all with two-way control. Using the HDMI, all you need is an HDMI cable and a digital AV adapter for iOS. Then go into the HDMI source. Android phones with USB-C can use our Bueller BU CHDMI 6 to HDMI for direct HDMI connection to the radio. For the RCAs, use the Bueller's BUHDMI V in addition to the AV adapter. We have extensive videos on mirroring, links are in the bio. The AVHW4400 Next has dual USB ports in the rear of the receiver. The first one is specific for iPhone devices and the other is for Android devices. Pioneer even provides you with USB labels to avoid installation confusion. You can also connect your phone via USB and just simply use the USB or iPod source to stream music. The USB connection shows album artwork. Bluetooth obviously provides hands-free calling and wireless music streaming plus dual phone connection. However, the Pandora source didn't work when using any of the four phones that we used to test the iPhone 10, iPhone 6, Samsung S9 Plus, and LG Stylo. We were able to listen to Pandora via Bluetooth in the Bluetooth source or by USB. Pioneer has also dropped the Spotify source and expects you to use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or Bluetooth Audio to listen to it. We also could not get album artwork to show up via Bluetooth like we have with other Next stereos. I assume these will be resolved in an updated firmware. The expandability doesn't stop there. Connecting your car and the AVH W4400 Next with the iDaddling Maestro RR integrates your vehicle with factory audio systems and adds OBD2 support with vehicle information, allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. Link in bio to purchase that. The radio is also compatible with App Radio Live and App Radio One, which offers some app integration like music apps and even Waze navigation. Pioneer's customizable settings are a bit lacking, but they offer a whole crop of preset wallpapers to choose from, including a few animated ones. Plus, you can upload your own JPEG and even set a splash screen, which is probably one of the most common questions I get on car stereos. Change the overall color theme of the radio, plus the illumination buttons, or scan them. The audio settings put you in full control of your sound. The 13-band graphic EQ features several presets like powerful, natural, and vocal. Adjust the fader and balance position. Get subwoofer control over the low pass filter. Listening position creates the perfect audio setting for any seating arrangement. Adjust the crossover and high pass filters for the front and rear speakers. Time alignment improves accuracy and transient response. Plus add effects like bass boost and loudness. 
using a USB, thumb drive, SD card, or CD. The radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, and WMV files. You can also view and upload JPEG images. The SD card slot is located behind the display with the disc slot. Although it's not HD, DVDs look pretty great on the screen. Dual zone control allows you to send an AV signal like a DVD from the radio to an external monitor in the back seat so that the rear seat passengers can watch a movie while the front seat passengers can listen to any other source like Bluetooth or even use CarPlay. The stereo includes a built-in HD radio tuner, is Sirius XM ready with the optional SXV 300V1 universal tuner, and steering wheel control ready with the ASWC1 interface. Links in the bio. The rear connections include GPS antenna, dual USBs, steering wheel control, Bluetooth microphone, second zone audio output, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, iDialing Maestro RR, HDMI, Sirius XM, radio antenna, RGB input for optional AVIC U280 navigation, and AV input pigtail. The AV pigtail includes three sets of 4 volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, RCA AV inputs, rear monitor video output, a backup camera, and 3.5mm auxiliary audio video inputs. The radio comes with a GPS antenna, AV pigtail, display carrying pouch, wireless remote control, USB extension, Bluetooth microphone, and wiring harness. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links are in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.